Hello my crafty friends. Welcome back to my channel and another month of crafty goals. Several of us put together our goals for each month on the first Saturday of every month and then we go over what we did for the previous month as well as project to the current month. You are perfectly free to join us and I will be putting information down in the description box below for you. This was originally started by Amalia of Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia. She's been doing this for several years. And the last couple of years, uh, several of us joined her in an, an official collaboration. But everyone is free to join. And like I said, I will be putting some information down below for you. Okay, this is January. I'm going to go back over what I did last month. And my goals were two videos a week. Um, and then, of course, my Crafty Gold video. I have my series. Um, so you only have 10 minutes. I'm going along with Alicia's sheet load of cards. Show us your sheet load for that. And then I 10 on the 10th. And those are Christmas cards with Kim of Metal Scrap and Chick. Embellishments on the 11th with Deb Houck. I do um, Club Echo Park and I get that around the 24th. And then I also have a back to basics or a how to. So I did, well, this, this was the end of December, but it shows here. I did my back to basics part one of die cutting on the 30th of December. Then on the second, I did our crafted goals for December and January. And then I followed Alicia's sketch for show us your sheet load. Um, and I did my 10 minute and this was, this was her sketch for January, 2021. And these are the cards I made with that. These are pre-printed printables that she provided for us, which is awesome. And this is the card I made with that. And then I did several, I think I did four different segments of that. 10 minutes a piece to show you that you can indeed do, do a lot in 10 minutes. Okay, and I didn't do anything on the 9th, but I did do the Christmas cards. And here's an example of... This is hope. This is hope and faith paper, and these are scraps. That is my goal to to use scraps for for this particular collaboration. I have plenty, and I'm sure you do too. And so I made I made this card. I made ten of them, but this is an example. And then for the embellishments with Deb Halk of Deb Halk's Crafty Cottage. I made these hearts. This imprinted one is really cool. It's from a uh, Crafty Ola Valentine's kit. And then I just use an embossing folder on this heart. I die cut the heart first and then I put it in the embossing folder. These are, this is called falling hearts. And then I went ahead for my next video I went ahead and made the cards with these. So there's my Valentine's card. And I need to send those out pretty quick. And then we had our Crafty Goals introduction. I will be uh, putting a playlist together for you of all the videos where I made these projects. But we did our Crafty Goals introduction on the 15th. And then I did what's called a short on the 20th. And that's a little video, uh, less than 60 seconds. And you 
you turn your camera around and you film it. And what I did, it was a time lapse of me making a card. So I, I thought that was kind of cute. And then I did my back to basics die cutting part two. And then I got my kit on the 24th. That was the winter market. I did not do an unboxing yet, however. I made cards with designer series paper from Linda Kaufman. Um, if we were like one of the first five to comment on her particular video, she sent us some paper. So I made cards with those. So here's one of them. I thought this was a really cute birthday card. That ice cream looks scrumptious. But this is Stampin' Up! paper. And I used a printable sentiment from Alicia. Call me Crafty Owl. And these are my Nubo drops. Oh, and I didn't do the inside yet. So anyway, that's what I got done for January. So let's go to February. And I use these also too. They're extra paper that I keep in my planner. Okay, let's find February. There we go. Okay. I learned from the mess. You saw the scratched out stuff in January. I learned to just write things in pencil until I had it down. Okay, so I got... Yeah, I got my um, Club Echo Park kit on the 24th. And I did the unboxing in... Let's see. I don't show that I... In February, I know I did the unboxing... In February here somewhere. I went ahead and watched Delicious Process video on the 2nd. That's when she puts up her her cards that she made. The process for her cards. And then also her collaborators on her team also show theirs. I'm not on the team anymore. But I still do the So You Only Have 10 Minutes series. So I used my Winter Park for that. And so today here's... I'm doing the crafty goals. And then I'm going to be doing the uh, Martha Stewart collection. I have scraps from that. I'll be using those scraps. And then embellishments on the 11th. Um, I've already been working on that. And I will show you those at the time. And then I'm going to be making cards with those embellishments again. And so I think I'm going to do another how-to video if everything goes right. My how-to video on embossing folders and heat embossing. And then I'm going to be using the rest of the winter market kit or as much as I can get done for the Echo Park. And like I said, everything's in pencil, so it's not all cut and dry yet. When it's cut and dry, I will put it in pen. Those are my goals and my projects. And I encourage you to watch and see who else is participating in Crafty Goals. There are lots of us because I think Working out our goals is a really, really good idea. Writing things down, getting it out of our heads. That's why this is called brain dump. Just get it out of our heads onto paper. It just helps us visualize and get things going. So thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.